you have studied to how to find out zeros of a quadratic polynomial and by quadratic polynomial one more case is that to find the zeros of a cubic polynomial as you know the procedure of finding zeros of both quadratic and bi quadratic polynomials is that factorize each of them into linear polynomials equate each of the linear polynomials to zero and find the zeros that is same procedure is followed for a cubic polynomial also you know how to factorize a cubic polynomial into linear polynomials that you have studied in class 9 a cubic polynomial can have three zeros that means it can be factored into three linear polynomials first of all we let us write this given polynomial as p of x is equal to x cube plus 6x square plus 11x plus 6 and we take the possible factors of 6 and substitute them to find the zeros let us try with the p of minus 1 because if you put 1 it is going to be all positive and it is not going to zero so there we put x is equal to minus 1 then x is equal to minus 1 p minus 1 raised to 3 plus 6 into minus 1 square plus 11 into minus 1 plus 6 this becomes minus 1 cube is minus 1 plus 6 into minus 1 square is 1 into 6 that is 6 plus 11 into minus 1 is minus 11 Plus six, so we get twelve minus twelve, which is equal to zero, which implies that when x is equal to minus one, the whole polynomial becomes zero. That is, minus one is a zero of the polynomial. Therefore, x plus one is a factor of the given polynomial p of x. You have learned that a cubic polynomial can have three linear factors out of this we got one linear factor to find out the remaining factors we divide the po given polynomial by the linear polynomial x plus 1 you know how to divide a linear by a cubic polynomial by a linear polynomial for dividing we first of all we arrange the terms in the descending order of the degrees both a divisor and a dividend now divide the first term that is x cube by the first term of the divisor to get first term of quotient that is x square x then multiply the x square each term of divisor x cube plus 1 into x square that is x square then subtract means change the sign and add x cube and minus x cube cancel 6x square minus x square is plus 5x square plus 11x plus 6 in if it is written in descending order the first term is 5x square is divided by first term of the divisor that is x so we get 5x that becomes the first term of the quotient plus 5x then multiply each term of the divisor by 5x we get 5x square plus 5x to the 1 is 5x then subtracting that is change this sign and add 5x square and 5x minus 5x square cancel 6x plus 6 again continue dividing because the de uh, degree of the remainder is same as the degree of the uh, divisor so dividing the first term by the first term of the divisor we get 6 so plus 6 multiplying we get 6x plus 6 subtracting that is change the sign and add we get 0 so thus the given polynomial p of x can be written as a product of x plus 1 into x square plus 5x plus 6 you know got a linear polynomial and a quadratic polynomial you have already learned how to find out the zeros of a quadratic polynomial that is by factoring it so we are going to factorize the quadratic polynomial x square plus 5x plus 6 in this the sum is 
and product is 6. Then we know both are positive. Therefore, the possible factors of 6 are 3 and 2. So splitting the middle term as 3x and 2x and taking common we have x into x plus 3 plus 2 into x plus 3 thus that quadratic polynomial is factored into two linear polynomials x plus 3 and x plus 2 therefore now for finding out the zeros equate each linear polynomial to 0 we get x is equal to 3 second linear polynomial x is equal to minus 2 so thus we got all the zeros as uh, x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to minus 3 and x is equal to minus 2 are the zeros of the polynomial let us see the second question if the zeros of the polynomial x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 1 are a minus b a and a plus b find a and b here the given polynomial is a cubic polynomial and we know that a cubic polynomial can have three zeros but you are not asked to find out the zeros but to find out the value of a and b given the zeros we are given that uh, the three zeros one of the zero is alpha a minus b second zero we can take it as beta as a and third zero as gamma as a plus b so if alpha beta gamma are given adding them we get alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 3a we know <coughs> alpha plus beta plus gamma stand for sum of the zeros of the polynomial sum of the zeros of the polynomial is equal to minus coefficient of x square coefficient of x square upon coefficient of x cube so substituting the value <coughs> alpha plus beta we got it as 3a 3a is equal to minus coefficient of x square is it coefficient of x square is minus 3 so minus of minus 3 upon coefficient of x cube is 1 so taking 1 we get 3a is equal to 3 or a is equal to 3 upon 3 that is 1 again so thus we got the value of a the question is to find out the value of a and b got the value of a now we have two more relationship one is alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is equal to coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square sorry x cube and third relationship alpha beta gamma is equal to minus constant upon coefficient of x cube taking the third relationship as that is more simple first alpha is a minus b beta is a into ga alpha plus b alpha sorry a plus b is the third that is gamma third zero we have uh, this is alpha beta gamma is equal to minus constant constant in its one so minus one upon coefficient of x cube coefficient of x cube coefficient of x cube is one so therefore this is uh, we're putting the value of a in this we get 1 minus b into 1 into 1 plus b is equal to minus 1 or 1 minus b square is equal to minus 1 transposing we get my 1 plus 1 is equal to b square or b square is equal to 2 which means b is equal to plus minus root 2. So that's the value of a and b we got.
which cannot be will not be able to find out by factoring now solve these questions as assignment the answer to which will be discussed in the next class